We are continuing to follow the breaking news out of Rakesha, Wisconsin, where a red SUV barreled down parade goers. Now what we'd like to do is talk about some of the resources available for families up there. The Waukesha School District Lunch Program. Waukesha School District Lunch Program. Meals will be available to all community members in need from noon until 1 p.m. on Tuesday at Butler, Horning, and Les Paul Middle Schools and North, South, and West High Schools. UWM at Waukesha Campus Counseling Center. The Campus Counseling Center is available for campus community members with concerns. They can contact the email on screen or call 262-521-5480. Waukesha Police Department Video Collection. If you had video footage of the suspect vehicle in the parade route or fleeing from the scene, please provide your contact information to the URL provided on screen. Only original videos, please. Nothing shared from another person's social media page. Wisconsin DHS Helpline. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services said people can call or text 800-985-5990 to be connected with a trained caring counselor. That can be done 24-7. Mental and Behavior Health Support Line. A mental and behavior health support phone number has been established by Children's Wisconsin Milwaukee Hospital for families that need emotional support. That phone number is 414-266-6500. The Waukesha Salvation Army says, Please join us in praying for the victims, family members, and first responders, as well as the community affected by the tragedy at the Waukesha Christmas Parade last night. Salvation Army Emergency Disaster Services is providing breakfast and lunch to first responders today. Our officials will be meeting up later this afternoon to discuss follow-up plans on how the community can help. They request if you do share online, use hashtag doing the most good. The Wakesha Strong Fundraiser at the Coop. The Coop, located at 350 Delfield Street, is holding a charity event on Friday, November the 26th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. The restaurant will donate 100% of sales from that day during those times to the Wakesha Community Foundation Fund. Brewers to hold support events. Tuesday, November the 23rd from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m., the Milwaukee Brewers Baseball Club held a Join Milwaukee Brewers for Coffee at the back room at Collectivo Coffee. Fans were encouraged to bring a donation, cash or check, to the Brewers Community Foundation, donations will be matched personally by David Cerns, and all funds will be directed to United for Wakesha Community Fund. The Brewers are also hosting an event from November the 24th to Friday the 26th. They will donate $10 for every ticket sold for their Magic of Lights light-up show, and that will be up to $10,000. Some other ways you can help, a number of GoFundMe drives have been established, to contribute, you can visit all the links in our description below. We will be linking the following down in the description below. Helping the Wakesha Extreme Dance Team Dancers. Help Wakesha South Band. Wakesha Parade Car Attack, Amber Conkle. Wakesha Parade Attack, Sparks Family. Wakesha Parade Tragedy Fund. Paying Tribute to Jane. Help Tamara Get Back on Her Feet. And Wakesha Parade Tragedy Perella's Family. River Glen Christian Church, Waukesha Campus, says, They are a church with many locations, but tonight we want to offer a safe place to come and find support and pray as a community. We have child care available and we'll be posting additional updates. The service will start at 6.30 p.m. Our heart breaks for the community and they ask if you have any prayer requests. You can reach out to prayer at riverglen.cc if you can't make it to that event. Vigil for Wakesha. At 5 p.m. Monday in Cultler Park, there was a vigil held by the Association for Wakesha Congregations with participation from the Brookfield Glen Grove Interfaith Network, the Interfaith Conference of Greater Milwaukee. We'll put a link to that prayer vigil in our website as well. Service of Prayer and Remembrance at Trinity. From 3 to 7 p.m. on Monday, Trinity Lutheran Church on White Rock Avenue, 
uh, held a prayer and remembrance ceremony. The school was closed, but pastors were on site from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. for anybody who needed to talk. A Catholic memorial mass was held on Monday in the CMH in Pro Gym at 12.30 p.m. and was open to the community. A prayer vigil was held Monday at 6 p.m. by Grace Evangelical Lutheran Church on Beechwood Avenue. They offered their sanctuary for anybody who wanted to come and pray. Members from Grace were also participating in the parade at the time of the incident. Grace also held a service of the Word and Prayer at 6 p.m. and there was a live stream available that we will link in the description. On Monday, there was also a prayer vigil and candle lighting at Ascension Lutheran Church on Dop Street. They invited you to bring friends, students, and neighbors, and any other members of the Wakesha community to come together for a prayer vigil and light candles to grieve for those who died. A prayer vigil was also held at St. William's Catholic Church on Monday as well. A prayer service took place at First Presbyterian Church in a response to the evil that took place in the city. There was also a prayer gathering for the community at Elmbrook Church, 6.30 p.m. on Monday. Uh, They came together to pray for the community and all those affected by the tragedy. We will continue to update this list as we find more. And of course, link all that in the description below. For more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. For Zaner News, Josh Zaner.